We are here to do a huge special edition unhaul. I definitely bought too many books. Let's see what we got. It's the start of the year and I've already realized that I have way too many books, way too many physical copied books and a ton of special editions. Now, don't get me wrong, I love special editions. I love a good special editions. I've had so much fun unboxing all of them with you guys here, but man, it is a problem. And at this point, I even have multiple copies of the same books. They're all different versions, they're all special editions, but it's the same book and quite frankly, I don't need three editions of the same book all the time. I love seeing booktubers do unhaulings. I think it's so fun. I think it's so hard. Sometimes it's just so hard to let go of a beautiful book, but I really want to make space on my shelf for books that I really adore, that I want to keep, that I want to reread, and special editions of books I really care about. We are going to go through some stacks, some books that I just don't think I should keep anymore for whatever reason. We're going to do it. Now with some of these, I'm still a little bit unconvinced. I'm not sure if I want to keep it or not or which edition I should keep so I will be depending on you and your comments and your opinion so please leave your comments down below if you think I should keep one if you think it's worth it most of these books I just really haven't heard about and I'm not sure if they're really great or not and it's just obviously not piquing my interest enough to keep them around so I might as well unhaul them and make more space on my shelf the rest of these I have read already and I may have been disappointed so some of these books are literally my most disappointing reads of 2023 and I just don't want them on the shelf anymore starting with actual fourth wing okay I don't know how I don't know what happened my orders were supposedly canceled I already had my special edition holiday in my hand and I still got two more so I literally have three copies of the special edition holiday fourth wing which comes with bonus chapters of Zayden's point of view and I really jumped the gun on this one because basic sprayed edges doesn't really matter and all of these books will be posted on my pango so make sure you hit that link if any of these interest you unless otherwise specified on my pango most of them are really brand new and I'll tell you why throughout this video I don't need two copies of fourth wing I'm over it it's fine got a little unhaul pile these next ones are literally so sad once upon a broken heart i just got these editions the uk editions when i was traveling around through scotland i was so excited to find them in hardcover and now i just want to unhaul them i don't know why i tried reading this series hoping for more after really being let down by the ending of caraval and that whole series i just wasn't a fan of what the author was doing i know a lot of people love these books so don't come at me okay just not my personal favorite and when I read that last final book, The Curse of True Love, I was so utterly disappointed. This is one of my worst reads of 2023. Just the series ended so fast. It was so quick. It made no sense. All of this work for what? It just felt like a really short book and really rushed. Hate when a series ends so bad. Okay, I always have a problem when series start off great and really bad, start off bad and really great because how am I supposed to rate that? And I'm a person that strongly believes that endings matter. Endings do matter. This is why we're amazed by arc redemptions where the person just wins us over and we're so amazed at these characters because endings matter. Or the other way around when they turn into a villain because again, endings matter. This ending, so bad. I just was not happy. So I'm gonna get rid of all of my copies basically. I actually have the full collection of the Barnes and Nobles Once Upon a Broken Heart edition and I have the first two UK editions of this series as well. They will both be listed on Pangos and they have never been read. This is because I rely so much on my library card. Because I'm ordering these special editions they tend to come much later or I just really don't want to mess with them. I know that may sound bizarre because you're like you literally have these books why are you not reading them and I do immersive reading but most of the time I don't want to mess with my special edition so I'll read my library copy or my ebook copy whatever it might be I tend to go that route or if I got the physical arc or physical copy first and then I went looking for a special edition it means my special edition is untouched it is fine it is safe this is 
this is one of those things where I finished everything but I just didn't ever open these so brand new and it's gonna be added to the pango listing officially unhauled for being so disappointing next up we have in the lives of puppets by TJ Klune I actually am super excited to read this one and this is actually the fairy loot edition it is super pretty but I was actually gifted another copy so I have two copies and that's literally the only reason I'm trying to unhaul this I keep leaving it on my shelf again never been read never been opened nothing else I just don't need two copies of this book so I will be listing it if this is a book that interests you it is super pretty I love the edges and I'm really curious to read this one I heard it's such a ride and it's super weird I mean one of our main characters is literally Roomba so we'll see how that goes for now we are unhauling our second copy okay next up we have after the forest and garden of the cursed I'm doing them together they're not a series or anything they're just YA books that I literally never heard of I think I said this in the unboxing I'm so surprised I had these I think I just accepted them you know because I had to I couldn't skip or something this just doesn't sound like my cup of tea after the forest is more fairy tale in a type of writing that I don't particularly find engaging so I do want to get rid of this copy and garden of the curse same I honestly don't know much about it but it just doesn't sound like something I would be interested in from the little I do know about it. Never been read really pretty owl crate editions but if you as a viewer if you think any of these are so worth it are so good i will open these and read them and try it i will trust your judgment your recommendation until you show me otherwise but really i will try this if someone vouches for them but so far over on instagram out here on booktube and friends i chat with none of them have mentioned these books so i'm thinking unhaul short break got some coffee let's continue this haul now continuing with your actual opinion because again I do need viewers opinion if you looked at my other hauls I actually ended up getting three different copies of a study in drowning so this is the Illumicrate copy which has its sprayed edges a little bit more subdued the original UK cover it has gorgeous end papers it is signed and the hard case is more academic esque and I'm not sure if it has a bonus chapter or not I will have to double check and probably put it on here as an extra description now on top of that I got the water stones while I was doing my bookish tour out in Scotland so this also has stunning edges on all three sides it has a very basic hardcover with the only enemy is the sea which is actually a very popular quote for this book and the other books also feature it and it has the typical UK edition not signed but quite lovely and the last one I received is actually from Alcrate beautiful redesigned edition a lot of people really love this edition so much and I actually love that the hardcover gives you the original US edition because it's actually really pretty I don't know I like it and I'm not typically a fan of character artwork now this one unfortunately has blank edges otherwise I think I'd probably swing toward this one overall I'm torn between the Waterstones edition or the Owl Crate edition so you let me know or if you really really like and want to vouch for the Illumicrate edition let me know in the comments down below either way I need to get rid of two of these okay I cannot have all three I do not need three editions of a study in drowning so consider two Two of them officially unhauled and we're just gonna put all of these in the little pile over here moving on to this monstrosity this is a German edition of iron flame but it is literally a thousand pages it is different in size I ordered it a while back when we were all in the frenzy of ordering every possible edition possible and now I'm more calmed down I am more sober I don't have book hangover anymore and I'm like do I really need this it is stunning yes and I do have the fourth wing German edition with blank edges when I was traveling through Munich I was able to pick one up but now that I'm looking at this I'm like hmm do I really need this? Do I really want this? Fortunately, yes, I do read German, so I didn't just pick it up for the aesthetics and for the pleasingness, but I'm just wondering if I really want five different editions of this book, especially when I do have the original version of Fourth Wing with the sprayed dragons, and I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed and over the whole special editions for this book because there's literally like 10 editions plus and they sell out so fast. So this is something that I am thinking of unhauling and just 
putting up on Pango because there is someone out there who's most likely missing Iron Flame German edition. I'm really testing the waters over here. The last two books are Owl Crate edition. So we have Immortal Longings, which y'all know I love this book. I cannot wait for the sequel, but after looking at this one compared to the Fairy Loot one, I am definitely sold on the Fairy Loot edition. I think it is stunning. The edges are actually stenciled and it's so detailed and it really gives me the correct vibe for this book whereas this one is a little too animated and illustrated for me this type of artwork isn't the one i normally go for the fairy loot edition one is more cyberpunk and i love it even if it's basically a color change i love it so much and the edges make it worth it so i am going to put this on pango it is still lovely and if this is your cup of tea your type of artwork then perfect you know we all have our different tastes i am officially consider this unhauled because i love it i just just don't need two very different editions of it and I'm very very happy with my fairy loot edition so I'm gonna continue the series through them and the last one from my current pile from my most recent special edition haul the dark descent this is also a young adult owl crate book and pick that I just don't really know much of upon reading the synopsis it just doesn't sound like my cup of tea I mean I wasn't even into the Scorpio races back then I'm not really curious about another horse race horse type of trope it just doesn't sound like something I would particularly love and I'm not so crazy about this special edition it just doesn't have features that I particularly love and I'm not one to keep a book just because it's pretty but I don't really plan on reading it or I didn't really like it if you can vouch for this book let me know otherwise we are officially considering this book unhauled let me just admire my pile. Not so bad. There are definitely more books that I want to unhaul, but I am still not fully moved in. I don't have my bookshelves up or anything yet. I definitely can't wait to make a video where we are organizing my shelf and really breaking down my physical TBR because how many books do I have left? I have no idea. But I'm pretty proud that so far, I mean, for most of these, I can say I've read them, you know? I'm not just unhauling them and I've never touched them, minus the few that I really don't know anything about. Overall, I'm gonna be really excited to put these up in my listing, so make sure you check that link down below in the description and make more room on my shelf for more special editions because yes, there will be another unboxing because I'm playing into consumerism and buying way more special editions than I actually need. If you're enjoying all these shenanigans, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.